Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and happy Friday. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future uploads. Today is Vegan Friday on the channel, so we're going to be making a quick and easy pot pie recipe. And you'll see here in a minute that I put a little twist on my pie crust. So to start off this recipe, we're going to line a 9 inch glass pie pan with some pie crust. This is a pre-made crust by Holy Wholesome. I like to leave it out for about 10 minutes to make it more pliable to work with. But you could also make your own pie crust or you could find other brands in your store that are accidentally vegan and those will work too. So I'm just going to start by rolling this out onto my pie pan and I'm just going to form it to the pan and then we will start on the filling recipe. So I'm going to start with my pan here on medium heat and we're going to add some vegan butter and then we're going to add some diced onions in here. And we're just going to cook these for a couple of minutes. We're just trying to soften our onions up a little bit. Just make sure you don't have your heat up too high because you don't want your butter to burn. Once my onions have softened, I'm going to go ahead and add my flour right into the pot. And I'm going to mix and cook this for about 30 seconds to a minute, just until we cook off that flour flavor. And then we will start adding our liquids. So I just have some plant milk here and I'm going to add this right into the pot and I'm going to use a whisk because I want to make sure that I don't have any clumps so I want to break that roux that we had made up in with my liquids. So then I'm going to start adding my broth a little bit at a time just so that I can continue to mix it all in and that it gets well incorporated and then we don't have any chunks.
So once that's all mixed up, we're gonna cook this down for a few minutes. We're just waiting for this to bubble and thicken up. And once it does that, then we're gonna add in our mixed vegetables. And then I have some canned potatoes. These are just some diced canned potatoes that I drained. You could use your own potatoes if you wanted to cook some yourself. I just find that this is really convenient and this recipe comes together really quick with some canned potatoes. So then I'm going to go ahead and give that a little mix and then we're going to start seasoning this up. I'm just going to put some salt and pepper to taste. And then I have some onion powder and some garlic powder and we're just going to add those in and then we're going to cook this down a little longer just until it thickens up a bit more. So once this is cooked down a little longer and thickened up a bit, we're going to go ahead and add this right into our prepared pie crust. And once we do that, then we're going to top this off with the other pie crust. But I'm going to put a little twist on it today and I'm going to go ahead and decorate it for Halloween for my kiddos. I'm going to go ahead and make a pumpkin Jack Skellington face. I thought it would be something fun to do for the kids, but if you wanted to skip this step and just put your pie crust right over the top, put a few slits in it so that the filling can vent, then you can do that. But I'm going to show you the process that I did so that I could make this a little more fun and kid friendly. So once I finished cutting out my pie crust, I went ahead and placed that over the top. And then you're just going to want to seal the edges around it just so that none of the filling seeps out. So after you're done sealing your crust, you're going to go ahead and pop this in a preheated 425 degree oven for 25 minutes. 
Then you're going to remove it from the oven. You're going to cover your crust or place a crust cover on top and you're going to put it back in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. You're just looking for this to get nice and bubbly and golden brown on top. When it comes out of the oven, it should look something like this, especially if you made a really fun face like we did. I thought this was so cool. It really had all the Halloween vibes. The kids absolutely loved it. This is a recipe that I've been making for years that I naturally had to veganize for you guys. And I'm so glad I did because I haven't had chicken pot pie in a long time. As always, thank you so much for joining me today, you guys. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I'd love for you to stick around. Tag me on Facebook or Instagram if you recreate one of my recipes, especially this one if you make a fun, spooky Halloween crust on top. I'd love to see it. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.